What's going on everybody? Mortem here, this time bringing you the five games that took me the longest to get 100% on. So before we jump into it, I want to mention that my Steam profile is public. It is on my channel. It should be in the links down below as well if you're interested in looking that up and seeing which games I've done, as well as looking at my hours played, should you be so interested. But I will say some of the hours played don't exactly line up because when I 100%ed something versus, you know, my actual hours in game might vary a little bit, so you might see some that are higher. But with that out of the way, let's jump into it. So my number five, believe it or not, is actually Pathfinder King. Maker. This one does come with a bit of a caveat. As I mentioned in my review of this game, I spent an enormous amount of time outside of the game researching things because there was a lot that I didn't know about Pathfinder's system. So while the actual in-game hours it took me was about 165, if you add all the hours I spent researching it would be much higher than that. However, out of curiosity I did look this up and it would seem that the average time for 100% completion on this is roughly 180 hours, so it's about right. Kingmaker is a great game though. I had a blast with it outside of the kingdom management. The kingdom management is an awful nightmare to me personally. Some people enjoy it and you know, touche if that's you, but me personally, I hated the kingdom management. Otherwise, it was a great game. Now, number four on the list is Pillars of Eternity 2. This took me 170 hours to 100%. Truthfully, if I was trying to do it quicker, I probably could have. However, I just had a lot of fun playing this game, so I played through it a lot, kind of took my time, did things I didn't need to do, that kind of thing. And ultimately, my actual time that I 100%ed it, with all the DLCs and everything, was about 170 hours. Great game, honestly, dead fire. It's a, it's a bit contentious, you know, some people really don't enjoy it. Uh, me personally, I loved it. But nonetheless, moving on to number three. So number three, I think, will actually surprise quite a few of my regular viewers. This is actually Fallout 4. <laughs> yeah, so this took me 190 hours, which is way too long. So a couple reasons this took so long. One, I insisted on not abusing the console commands because, you know, honestly, if I had abused them, this would have gone much, much faster. But honestly, it's just a game that I find myself coming back to fairly regularly. Like every year or so, I'll be like, man, I need to fire up Fallout 4. Because while it certainly does a lot of things wrong, I do actually enjoy Fallout 4's gameplay. It's role-playing mechanics, eh. But the gameplay is pretty solid. And that brings us to number two. This, I doubt, will be a surprise to anybody, but it is actually The Witcher 3. 350 hours this took me. So... Again, probably could have done it in less than that if I really, really wanted to. What happened with this particular game was that this was one of the very first games I attempted to 100%. When the DLC released, uh, Blood and Wine specifically, I actually wound up having to play through that again a second time because the first time, for whatever reason, the achievements didn't unlock, so I actually went back again later and did more of it. Combined with full 100% playthroughs, probably about four of those, just to do various things on various difficulties. The Witcher 3 is just a long game and it took me a very long time to 100% this thing. But I did do it. And that brings us to the one that took me the absolute longest. And that is none other than Divinity Original Sin 2. Now this took me about 450 hours to 100%. And that is because I insisted on doing the honor mode properly. I actually played through the honor mode without cheesing it in any form. It took me an incredibly long time. Divinity Original Sin 2 is actually the game that when I finished getting the 100% on it, I was like, man, if I can 100% this game, I feel like I can 100% just tons of games. And that's turned out to be correct. What took the longest here was just my insistence on doing honor mode the right way, which just took me playing through the game over and over and over again, combined with the fact that some of the uh, origin characters, like achievements for completing their individual stories, actually require that character to be the main character. Specifically, Fane and Ifan have achievements you can only get if you are using those two as your avatar. So I had to do several runs through the game there. Uh, again, the honor mode just took me forever. That run by itself was probably 120 hours of me just being meticulously cautious, which is funny because if you asked me to do it these days, I could probably do it way quicker than that. But nonetheless, uh, what a rush getting that honor mode achievement was for me. It was, uh, 
It's kind of a silly thing, to be honest, really, but it was a big deal to me personally. And truth be told, a lot of what this channel does would not have happened if I hadn't stuck with this game for so long. So there you go, guys. Just a quick look at five of the games that took me the absolute longest to 100%. I'm thinking about doing a reverse of this and going over games that I 100%ed very quickly. And real quick, before we wrap this up, I do want to mention that I have 100% on Skyrim, but truth be told, I couldn't put it in this video because I absolutely cannot remember what the hours were for the 100%. Because between the original version and the uh, special edition, I have probably like a thousand hours, or at least like 800-ish at the very least. And honestly, I just could not remember when I actually 100% that, so it just gets an honorable mention. I don't know how long that one took me. There you go, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please remember to like, comment, subscribe, all that YouTube jazz. But regardless of any of that, truly, just thank you so much for watching. May you wander in wisdom and have an amazing day.